Hey, it's Kevin Dwitch here, and welcome back to the Past This Prime YouTube channel, and welcome back to the Dyson Sphere program. So, uh, a small update just came out for the game just prior to me recording this, literally just before I recorded this. Um, it really isn't of any significant, I mean, it's probably important to some people, but not significant for me to show it had um it seemed to be something to do with sorters and how things have prioritized out which paths are the sorters and all this sort of stuff and some very fine detail that really unless you're a somebody that really counts things and makes sure they're all working to perfection uh like ratios and all that sort of stuff um you probably don't care if you're like me we just basically hack things up uh, it also talked about increasing to stacking and stuff like that, but it, they keep making uh, mention to the blueprints, which are coming out in days, it said. So, I mean, that is going to be a handy feature. Uh, and, you know, that will be good for going forward. But, to be honest with you, I don't really need it right now. <laughs> um, because, yeah, I've sort of done what I wanted to do. So... Anyway, uh, we'll talk about the future of uh, this game on the channel in a minute, but let's have a look at what we've done. So I am on the planet where I was building my Neutron Star um, Dyson Sphere. And here it is. It is complete. And it didn't take that long, probably because it's the smallest Dyson Sphere you can make. I can't show you the size but I'm pretty sure when I did it I set it to the smallest it could be um, now I don't know if that's the smallest it can be ever but it was the smallest I could make here around this star and this is what it looks like so I just put a couple of little peep holes in there so that you can see the neutron star uh, obviously that's not what it really looks like that's this and it's only making 2.04 gigawatts so our rockets have stopped shooting. So what I have done is I've now set them all to remote supply. And same with our sails. And that way we can go and get them back to our home planet or wherever the next Dyson Sphere we build would be. Now, what we want to do... Well, two things. There's no point in me staying here. So what I'm going to do is, first off, I'm going to look to go back home. I have to find it first. Where the heck is home? Is that home? That is home. I'm just going to tag it. Uh, but what we're going to do is just quickly... Well, not quickly. We'll do it a bit more thoroughly. Let's get up. Out of orbit. Now... Let's find it. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to fly over there. And we're... Whoops. And we're going to have a look. So we've still got some solar panels. Solar panels? Solar sails. Uh, as you can see, they will disintegrate and disappear. And then you'll just be left with the Dyson Sphere. It's just that... Um, yeah, we're still shooting them while I was making sure that it got finished. And yeah, then it just, obviously, I stop shooting, so they will all die off and disintegrate. So yeah, so here's what we've got. So I'll just slow down a bit. It's still quite a big sphere compared to the actual star itself. Yeah. I thought we were closer, we are a bit far away. But you can see the cells, how big they are. This is so small.
And you can see how big the um, yeah those cell things are compared to the actual shape. Oh, and now we're inside. It's nice and bright when you get in the reflective side of it. Obviously, because, you know, here's the star. Okay, we must be stuck in orbit now, because now I can't get out. just so I can have a look. Yeah, look how big those... I mean, I don't know what they're called. I think they were... Were they called cells? Okay, let's just come out a bit. I like the bottom, it looks very sort of robot mechanical looking because of the size of the cell points and stuff like that, as opposed to it being mainly cells. So it looks good, anyway, I like it. It was something different and something a little bit... Not what everybody would do. Well, maybe everyone did do it, who knows. So let's go home. Uh, line it up and let's go walk because we are done here we are done on that jesus autosave nothing worse than when autosave kicks in and i miss the planet <laughs> but we've got a long way to go now i did say i was going to go around and look at every star system and all that sort of stuff and you know what i'd still like to do that but um that may be something that happens in the future when there's something to actually come back and do i don't know it's just it's just not something that is going to be very entertaining especially when most of the planets are all the same and most of the star systems are exactly the same and you're going to find a couple that are slightly different that's about it Um, so I think it'll be something that I will leave. Now, I don't, the thing is, I don't even know if when they do a major update, whether I will be continuing with this, this say, like this playthrough, or starting brand new fresh. And it really depends on the, how significant the changes are and whether I feel a playthrough from start actually would be the best way to go. You know, to get the full impact of whatever they do. Um, I just don't know. I mean, this game may be basically so close to its final release that they just don't... Um, they don't change much at all. They're just tweaks. Because that's what they're doing at the moment. Most of them are just tweaks. Um, they're looking at, obviously, the blueprint system, but while I think the blueprint system is potentially going to be good and is going to save you a lot of time, it doesn't change the game significantly, all right? There's no suddenly now, oh, everything I've done, I've got to throw away and start again, and there's a major story mode, and we've got enemies, or we've got this, or we've got that. It doesn't do anything like that. So, to me, it doesn't really warrant starting again, just to have blueprints, because I've already, well, I've made everything by hand. Why would I want to redo it just because you've given me a blueprint now? But what it does allow me to do, once they do get it, is if I want to quickly up, you know, duplicate something, up you know, uh, expand some area or something, do a whole new build of, you know, like these, a whole new build of gears. 
you know, I could blueprint that and then just bang, drop it somewhere else. You know, that would be, that would be handy. And I would still love to see some sort of fancy upgraded uh, mining infrastructure where you can just go to a planet and drop one single thing like one of these logistic towers or the orbital collectors on top of it and it just mines the entire lot instead of all these little things because it, it, it makes setting them up over and over again on a planet very boring and I can't see how that's something that you could blueprint because it all depends on the shape of the veins Right, so anyway, what was the point of coming here? The point of coming here, as you can see, I've stopped researching. I just decided I'd had enough researching and I wanted to let things settle. And I'm not sure, hang on, it's better if we go into planet mode. Yeah, it looks like they've all settled. What about? universe ones where are they sitting at so they've got a full thing there full so we're basically full we have settled everything down you can see drone activity is a lot lighter at the moment there's not really much happening things are settled a bit there's obviously a few things here that are still being made still coming in You know, if things may just catch up, fill up and stop. So this will be good to set it up for going, you know, whatever happens next. Now, what I could do. How did we get, uh, how did we get sales and that out of here? Where did we do that? Did we do it direct? Sales and rockets, how did they get out? Okay, that's the sales. Remote supply. Okay, it's full anyway. So... We could set it to remote demand. Just so we could get those ones back. Now, where... Yeah, what were they doing? Yeah, they were also remote supply. That stopped. That's interesting. We've run out of... Run out of these. Why? Because we've run out of frames. Why have we run out of frames? Because we don't have titanium alloys. Why have we run out of titanium alloys? Because we don't have steel. Are we making it anywhere else? Ah, oh, we are. Okay, well, we'll request steel remotely. That should fix all that up, so that should settle back down. Uh, but what I could do, what I was going to do is we will remote demand that and that will bring all of these rockets back okay so the only thing i thought of with this is adding more i could add more let me have a look can we see it from here you know it's pretty open Uh, it's 8.3 gigawatts. Oh, we had, what, two-something gigawatts on the neutron star. 
So this is a little bit better, but not massively. I don't know whether I want to. This is the problem. It's sort of like, uh, do I bother? Okay. Right. Uh, well, hang on. Okay. Well, how would I do it? So, I mean, I could add like some of these. Do I add it to all of them? Okay, I'm going to leave it there. That's, I can't work out how the, the pattern here just doesn't work with me doing this. That's sort of too big, didn't quite work out. But that's fine, I'm just going to leave it there. Oh, we're already firing rockets. Interesting, okay. Um, I did make a bit of a silly thing here because... I actually requested the rockets from here, but this is not where we shot rockets and sails from. So, just want to make sure this is working now, which it definitely is. Okay, so let's go back to our sails here. Okay, we want to I can't be going anywhere. We're gonna remote supply them now. And that No, that's not it. Oh that's why the sales are going out. They're going out to make these. Uh, the rockets, 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 where are you? Oh man, I can't find them. I can never find, it's there, isn't it? Yes, it is. Right, they're going to remote supplies. Well, your storage, local demand, that's fine. They're going to come in. A bit slow, but they're going to come in. Okay, uh, what we need to do is go to our planet that is shooting which we can see rockets going out already so let's just quickly whip over there yeah let's speed up well there they go all the rockets firing off uh, they are going to run out, because I think that's probably just what's in storage. We need to get them to demand the items. That's 
I needed to set it to supply because this is the place that is supposed to be requesting things. Now, how did we have this done? Okay, that's not sales. So here's all the rockets. Okay, there's sales there. All right, so that's the rockets there. So we're going to demand. That's a local demand. Uh, now, where were we actually requesting them? Here. So we're going to local supply remote demand uh, I don't know if we need 10,000 okay now where Maybe we were, we were shooting the cells from the other planet? We don't have any... Oh, no, there they are. There's the cells. Okay, just trying to find what fed the cells. Why don't I get down here and have a look? Came from here. How? There's no... Okay, I'm confused. Okay, there's definitely sales there. And again, let's drop it to five. Okay, so they should get the sales. Well, I don't understand the other side. Did we put something else in here in place of it? Because I can't see how it can do anything to do with sales. Definitely has the line there. weird I don't remember what I did clearly I broke something so the big question is how could I fix it I would assume oh god okay So we probably could Let's just go none for the moment. What I want to see is Okay. So we could get some sales. 
Uh, let's drop that down to 2,000. Let's go demand. Okay, we don't need that, that, or that, but we need to find... We need to find this, and break that. Join that to there. So that should uh, if I turn the filter on. Should feed these. Okay, so you can see it's already started to build the columns there. Just don't have any cells yet at all. Okay, they're starting to shoot. What's happening with the other side? Oh, look at all these mines that are doing nothing now. Okay, so you've requested, we just need to turn your filter on. Here we go. And then these will start to shoot as soon as they can see it. Okay, but the other side's shooting at the moment. Okay, so you can see the solar panels, solar panels, why do I keep saying that? Solar cells, they're starting to come in, they're going to flood those sections and start to build the new panels. Alright, so that's what that is. Alright, so they're going to keep streaming away and all will be good. So much stuff died here. <laughs> There's still a vein there. Come on. You can do it. Get that vein. Yeah, this planet's running out of resources as well, but how is it going? Iron's running out. Plenty of copper, plenty of titanium. Stone's not that great either, man. Things should start slowing down though with our, like, uh, how do you, you know, we get 30% all consumption, which is pretty low. You know, we could obviously keep researching more. Uh, I don't think there's been anything else added. I just like to come in here every time I play just to check, because there's always this one here that's accelerant, Mark 1. I'm really curious to what that's going to be and what it's used for, because we don't have anything that requires using that. But clearly there's something that we don't have 
that is coming in the future. You know, look here, there's another... There's just so many of them that are just absolutely dead. Get some of those back. It's a bit of a cleanup task to just go around planets and recoup all the stuff that's dead. Yeah, like, I mean, here you've got what just got one that's going for all of those oops did I just destroy his path did I sorry Get rid of that, I don't want it. Okay, anyway, I mean, I could fly around here for hours and clean up stuff that's dead. It's not really the point of it, and even seeing the end results of the Dyson Sphere is not necessarily the most exciting thing now, because we've seen it a few times, and I would imagine probably had enough seeing them for now till something improves oh that doesn't reach I hope that didn't kill anything it did whoops sorry my bad I mean, it may not even take that long to build. Ah, oh, it'll take a fair while, actually. Yeah, it's it's still going to take a fair while, but you can see it's progressing quite well with the actual rocket carrier rockets. Yeah, I mean, some of these have already finished. that one there's obviously been getting some solar solar sails in there same with that one there so it's progressing all right so here's where it gets tricky okay i at this stage have really run out of ideas for these videos for dyson sphere until something significantly changes or if somebody has a brilliant idea that they would like me to do I don't feel like I want to start the game again just yet. Um, I really, because it would just be doing the same thing I've done. I really am waiting to see if something major comes in. Some total new gameplay, some big new changes that is really going to warrant me wanting to start again. Or even just coming back in here and continuing this. So I guess the point of it is if you want to see something, let me know and I will try to attempt to do a video on it. But otherwise, at this stage, this will be the last Dyson Sphere video for a little while until something new comes about and then I will come back to it. I'm not getting rid of the game. Uh, I will come back when things get updated and changed. I'll be checking out updates all the time and I will do videos as I feel there's significant stuff to come out. I may not do a video when the blueprints come out because as I said, I don't know if it's significant enough for me to show that. You know, most people know what a blueprint is. I don't think it's something worth doing a whole video on. But um, yeah, anyway, so I have an idea for another game that I will be replacing this with for a little while 
Uh, it's not a new game, but I'm not going to say yet because I haven't even tried it. So <laughs> um, you will see it appear on the channel. And hopefully you'll enjoy it. But uh, as I said, if you do have any ideas for Dysophia, let me know. Otherwise, we'll be waiting for some new content or final release or whatever happens. And then we'll come back to this and have a new adventure with it. But until then, uh, yeah, we'll put a stop to this series for a little while. Put it on hiatus and uh, wait for something to come up. So if you do like my videos and you like what I'm doing and you want to support the channel, please uh, check out the description below. You'll see a link. You can buy me a virtual coffee to help support the channel. Uh, please like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon to be notified of all my future videos as I release them. Most importantly, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know anything. You know, as I said, you want me to do something. You want ideas for games. Anything like that. Let me know. Or you just want to chat with me. I read all the comments and I answer every com comment that warrants an answer as soon as I possibly can. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one.